G'day folks, the Astro 30 here. Now, I've had this uh, Bellcat 25B bass guitar amplifier for a couple of years now. And is uh, anyone else interested, just like me, as to what's going on inside of it? Yeah, let's uh, pull the chassis out and have a look. Right, before I pull the chassis out, I've got to be careful. There's two speaker wires, a red and black wire, running down into the speaker box itself. That could mean I possibly have to pull the driver out first to disconnect it. Yes, I'm working on the floor. That just comes off. It's only got Velcro on it. Uh, it's actually quite a small driver and not really that good of a sounding driver, really. That's actually nice to see. Machine screws, which means there is a metal thread here in the woodwork behind the speaker that it screws into to keep it nice and tight. That's a nice nice little uh, surprise. Be careful not to destroy that connector. There we go. Right. Put that somewhere where it's not going to damage anything and not itself. Okay, so we've got a nice big open hole and the speaker wire should be able to pass up through the uh, hole when I pull the chassis out. Now, I'm thinking the whole chassis might drop a little bit. Then again, it might not. I have to slide it out through the back. Well, well I wasn't expecting that. Single circuit board design. Uh, Looks like a discrete output stage, two transistors there and a really small heatsink. Right, that's a D2058 and that one's also the same, a D2058. Yeah, it's a pretty small circuit board, it's a lot smaller than I thought. That's the effects send, return and line output. Little op amp down there. Uh, I still can't read it, but I might be able to read it during editing. Some transistors down there too. Uh, yeah, two SC ones. I think they're all two SC. Looks like an MPN design of uh, power amp stage. Not all that exciting. Now for those playing along at home, there's the power transformer. It's 20 volt times two at 0.9 amps per winding. Made by the Xiongying electronic factory of Shenzhen so it comes from China uh, what else is new? Uh, it says power output is 25 watts into 8 ohms well without putting on an oscilloscope uh, I don't know it does say there the mains power consumption is 35 watts so 10 watts less for the output power yeah that's probably about right and what's even more interesting is they have got a little suppression cap across the switch to prevent arcing across the uh, switch when you turn on and off so you don't get pops through the speaker and that actually does work it doesn't have any pops through the speaker now this doesn't have a muting relay in it um, however seeing that there's so much space in this cabinet maybe one day I'll add a muting relay and make a video of it that would be probably interesting wouldn't it uh, we'll see how that goes it's not that hard to add a muting relay. There's access to the secondary AC over there so I can have instant switch on, switch off and all that sort of crap. Yeah, so that's the uh, Bellcat 25B amplifier chassis. It's not really exciting, is it? Now it's all apart. It might be a good idea to clean that edge where the uh, edge of the front panel fascia sits. That's... Ew. Dirty. That's better. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's made in China. What else is new? A lot of musical instrument stuff is made in China these days. What's really interesting is they have got what size and type of fuse to use going on voltage plus frequency. That's very interesting. So they say at 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz, it should be a 5 millimeter, 0.5 of an amp fast blow, which is what that fuse should be. Although I can't see it. 
yeah, 500 MA at 250 volts. So what's written there correlates to what fuse is in it. So it should be a 500 MA fuse, which is what it is. So I'll just pop that back in. Preferably put it in correctly. There we go. Now I suppose I should uh, pop the chassis back in. Okay, there it is all back together. Uh, I remembered to keep connect the uh, speaker driver up. <laughs> Otherwise I might have a bit of a problem. Uh, might want to give the top of that a clean and then I'm going to plug it in and see if it still works. Well, that still works. Yep, I was right. It's a 2SD 2058, which is an MPM power transistor. So that output stage of that amp, it wouldn't be a complementary pair because it uses the same transistor on both sides, but it's still a push-pull, probably either in common emitter or common collector configuration. It's maximum ratings. Collector base voltage with open emitter, 60 volt. Collector emitter voltage, open base, 60 volt. Emitter base voltage, open collector, 7 volt. Collect a current maximum of 3 amps. Base current maximum of 0.5 of an amp. Uh, collector dissipation 25 watt. That TC equals 25. Yeah, so that's probably where they got the 25 watt from, is they just took it di directly off the data sheet. And they probably didn't actually measure the output of the amplifier itself when they designed it. It's a good possibility. Just because it says it can dissipate 25 watts does not mean it's going to produce 25 watts. Just saying. Anyway, on the Astro 30, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And you can always follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description as usual. Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya, have a great day. Pingus! 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 Pingus!